What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Oh, guys, you know, today I was in one of my favorite Facebook groups. You know it. Say no to single mothers, black men's edition. Give them a round of applause. And these guys find all of the buffoonery on the black internet regarding situations with single moms. And this is, I would say by far, one of the most interesting uh, stories that I've seen. And here we have a sister and zaddy and she's posting um you know like how soon did it take for them to hook up okay so you see first date nope first month nope three months nope one year nope oh my god waiting until marriage check Bruh. oh hell no wasn't oh, that nice Tima, give him a round of applause amen god bless him you know, it's good that young people today are waiting until they have sex to get married, right? So it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, provided that she's kept herself, you know, ready for marriage and he's kept himself ready for marriage. You know, I, I do love the Lord, so I wouldn't be hating on Christianity, right? Right? Well, the story gets even better. How do we know this? Because we see them on a family photo jesus christ now we will blur the faces to protect the innocent now that is there is zaddy there is um weaverina and uh, th there's the son okay son yo son what's up what you're not my dad you also want to hear something ugly ass fucking noodle. obviously he doesn't have any, anything to do with this his mom's an idiot but that's not his fault then we'll look at the third picture. Up oh, there you have White Zaddy with, you know, little Tay Tay on his back. Hmm. Now I'm not the smartest guy in the world, guys, but what it seems to me, it seems that, <laughs> well, <laughs> it, 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 what it seems is, it seems this. White Zaddy met a sister. Hold on, sorry, stop, Demon, stop the show, stop the show. <laughs> Story time music. So it seems one day White Zaddy was hanging out at Little Pookie's Chicken and Waffles when he met Wee Verena and she had a son. And White Zaddy said, Take music! I'll stay for a whole year. No, wait, not even a whole year. I'm gonna stay and wait until I get married to have sex with you. Although you've already been having sex and you already have a child. Not only that, I'm gonna marry you and take care of your black son. You're not my dad! That's what it seems like to me, right? Right? <sighs> and you know what? As delusional as this sounds, you always have anomalies, which I believe this is just that. It is an anomaly. Why do I say that? Well, uh, let's stop the show. I don't think that this white guy is probably, you know, um, very successful. I'm pretty sure that he's not to do this. But what sisters are looking for, many of them that, 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 that you know, have a child or more than one child, they believe that this scenario is suffice. A guy, and I'm assuming that he doesn't have children, uh, preferably a white man, will come in, uh, take care of the child, that she already has by somebody else. Uh, and it could be a black man too, but then live up to exp expectations that the first man didn't live up to. Now, here's where sisters are gonna come with the counter argument. Well, okay, I made a mistake when I was younger. Now I'm older and wiser, and I don't want to lower my standards for the next guy. So I need to up my standards for the next person in order to get with me and now be a parent to my child. And you know what, I, let, let's be honest, I understand that. I'm not a person that's not, that doesn't understand things like this, sure. I mean, I get it, I get it, right? Here's the problem though. This is like a mistake that 
some women uh, make that is that once you have uh, a child okay you look at the economy right now coronavirus not that it's inconceivable before God don't want to come in the economy's limited let's just say his skills are limited pockets are limited there's no there's real no upside in coming in and taking care of somebody else's child now you're gonna make me the guy who doesn't know you live up to expectations that you didn't make the other person live up to when at the time in your life when he had you you were more attractive you were possibly better looking you're possibly well, you were younger all the things that that men are looking for when we're talking about the whole ideology of fertility and this is what a lot of um of women in, in the black community want to do they they want to be able to you know let's say okay i have my child and then make the next guy live up to the expectations that the other guy didn't live up to and usually the guy that has to live up to these expectations is a better man you know doesn't matter if he's white or black he's a much better man than the first guy that she met okay he's hard working if you want to talk about religion he's a christian you know if you want to talk about being compassionate he's that He's a very nice man. He's very considerate of her feelings. He gives her attention. But all of this, though, this man has to wait for to prove himself. Although the person that she was dealing with didn't, uh, you know, prove himself or anything. She gave him a kid, possibly still sexually attracted to the guy. But the new guy has to do all of this. And I think that this is the problem that a lot of women have with you know, going into 2021, because they expect that most guys are going to be able to, to, to go along with something like this. And sure, you have your stories about it here and there. That's why they're so highly publicized. It used to be, you know, things like this happened. It was normal. In 2021, these are anomalies. And what a lot of women want to do that are in, in these situations, they want to take the anomaly and make it the norm. I, I just have to let ladies know one thing. This is the age of the internet, okay? Where men um, that make money have a lot of access to things. Even guys who don't make a lot of money, average guys, if you wanna say, call them that. I mean, there's just so much to go around and different, you know, the competition is actually fierce for deep, for good men now. You know, uh, good, great, good men, provider men are, are gonna be more appreciated now than ever going into you know, the, 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 the next millennium, the next century, stuff like that. It is what it is. You know, provider type men are the prize. And most guys who are provider type men and who've done the right things in life, you know, are not looking to select a lady that has already had a baby by a man that she said that was no good. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. And then you expect him to live up to these higher expectations when he can take those expectations, if he's gonna live up to them, and, 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 and do that with a woman that don't have any kids. Do that with a woman who's younger. What would be the incentive of doing that with someone like you? Oops, there is no incentive in doing that with someone like you. So that's where we're at, guys. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you. For all that you do, subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first comment pinned to the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.